I get to get in a race car, go as fast as I possibly can, and make a living doing it. Blake Cook is a NASCAR driver in the Nationwide Series. His love of racing started as a boy with motocross. Yeah, dirt bikes was the love of my life growing up from the time I was 13 to 17 years old. I was on the road with my family racing dirt bikes. He was raised in a Christian home, but he says his relationship with God was a distant second to his love for motocross. Before I'd even take off, I would say a prayer on the line, you know, bow my head. And, and, but I really didn't have that personal one-on-one -on -one relationship. It almost felt like it was, now's the only time I need you, God. You know what I mean? Like, all right, I need you. I'm about to go risk my life. But when I'm done, you know, I'll talk to you next week when I'm back on that starting line. After several tears to his ACL, Blake's motocross career was over. But his stepfather suggested a new hobby. He's like, hey, hey, Blake, if I buy this race car, will you want to drive it? And I was like, it looks kind of boring. You know, I don't know if that's my thing. I've always been against four wheels. It's always two wheels, motocross. I drove it, fell in love with it, and um, won my first race pretty soon after first driving that truck. And people started telling me, man, you're really good at this. You're natural. You can make something from it. And when I heard that with God, all things are possible and God can do anything he wants to do, that I really took it to heart. So when, you know, I had my first shot to race in NASCAR, I really wasn't that nervous, you know. I didn't even know how to shift. I, I didn't even have any experience in a manual transmission because my race cars back home were automatics. And I got to the track for my first time and I knew it was gonna be a, uh, a manual transmission, but you know, I knew that God opened this door. Fear wasn't an option, I knew he'd take care of it. And it was good. My first time in, I qualified fourth in California in the NASCAR k and Series. And then they signed me full time the next year to race for them in the, the West Series. Blake says he made his Christian faith a priority and put his trust in Jesus. It's a really a, a personal one-on-one -on -one relationship. And that really started when I was about 20 years old is when, you know, I stopped quenching the Holy Spirit and started listening and reading into the Word more and studying and just really pursuing Christ. He says his Christian faith has helped bring stability to a career that can end in an instant. Shortly after my wife and I got married, I lost my sponsorship. Um, there was no ride available, and I had to surrender racing. You know, I was at a point where God opened the doors you want open and shut the doors you want closed. Worrying does not add a single day to our lives, Jesus tells us. So I know that God's going to take care of me. I know he's going to provide my daily bread. You know, what's really helped me with that is surrounding myself with great people who are on the same mindset, accountability partners, having fellowship, building each other up, and also speaking truth into each other's lives. After a brief pit stop from racing, Blake was back in the driver's seat. He is now sponsored by Compassion International and enthusiastically speaks about his relationship with Jesus wherever he can. He's given me this platform that people listen to me, and I feel like I have a great opportunity to tell people about Jesus through that. It's hard for me not to tell people about something I love, and um, you know, every response usually has Jesus involved with it. Blake says he keeps his life and his race car in God's capable hands. I have to fully surrender everything to let God work in my life. It's not a routine, you know, it's not um, a superstitious thing that if I don't pray, I'm not gonna perform. It's all about putting that car in God's hands. For God to drive the car through my hands, my feet, my mind, and my heart. Put this car where you want it is my prayer. And um, you know, no matter what happens, I know that I've said that prayer and I've let go of everything I can do and it's in His hands.